All right, so it's another week, uh, another eighth of raid season. Um, you can see here, I'm 24, and I got more lift than I usually do, uh, and that's because um, that's because I'm an idiot. Uh, one day, I think I forgot which day it was. It was either Monday or Tuesday. I forgot to uh, use one of my attack, use my attack for the day, and um, yeah, so I'm not gonna make it into Aether tier 27 uh, this week, which is beyond annoying. Um, but yeah, so that that's pretty irritating. It all has like a, a weird cascade effect too, because like let's go look here. Like you can see there uh, defense. So I'm up here. Usually I'm down here somewhere, right? Like I'll take. Quite a bit, quite a bit of hits, but I'm up here. I'm probably it looks like it's looking like I'm going to end uh, in the top defense lift, and it's not necessarily because like my defense got better, so much as it is like, as if that initial lack of uh, attack had like a cascade effect, which um, meant that I got paired down with a lot of people who were in lower ranks where I would have been paired up with higher people going forward, so they would have had a lot easier time of, of beating me. But since I didn't attack, my rank didn't go up, so I stayed low rank, and I fought a bunch of low rank people, and I had quite a few successes here and there, and uh, the lift loss control, see, I last time, I, I didn't think it, the lift loss control worked on uh, successes, but it does sometimes, um, like, I lost here, but, oh, somebody rematched me, that's weird, I lost here, but like, you know, lift loss got me there, he, he only took 14 lift, uh, so yeah, so it, kind of cascades into like this uh, weird array of, of how things go. So the way it is now, uh, if I do, I have two attacks, so two attacks for double, that's 100 points each, so I have 200. Um, every time, every success I have 330, that's 660, uh, and then I, if I get the, the, um, the pots and all that, I can do one more attack for 50, and then that's uh, 165. So 660, uh, 760 is 820, so I can get uh, 820 points. I can go up to 32, 1300, 13,200, which puts me here. So if I do all right enough, I can get um, tier 26. Um, I'll be missing 27, This even if I do well, um, and that's not necessarily um, saying I will do well over t the whole time, but uh, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty irritating. This whole week has been an annoyance. Like you're just playing and you're wondering why you're even playing. If uh... oh no, don't look at it. My bolt tower sucks. Uh, yeah, a lot of people upgrade their bolt tower, and I wouldn't disagree with that. It's just that um, I haven't for whatever reason. I just didn't really feel like it. So I mean, I might this season now that I have a few more rocks. Um, Okay, so the biggest problem we're going to have here is Ophelia. This is an interesting setup. Uh, let's see, how many escape ladders do I have? I have one. I think what I want to do, do we have, she is, she's got guidance. Um, if I pop this and I move here, I think I can just hit her and she'll die. She'll hit me, but she's only got 49 attack and not enough speed. Uh, so I'll kill hit her. She'll probably move to hit me first. Do you have... Oh, she does have the thing. Okay. So one, two. So she won't be able to reach me. Hopefully she doesn't. She just hits me. Hopefully this is all straightforward. Uh, one, two, and she can hit here and here. Yeah, so what I want to do is, is put her here. Uh, hit Ophelia. Uh, bait these two, and she obviously won't kill me. She just moves here. Uh, bait these two, kill them, uh, and then save these for later. Uh, if she moves like here and she hits Loki, the thing is that she's gonna die. It, this this whole this whole thing hinges on her dying. Because if she doesn't die, then she'll teleport next to her, and then hit Loki. And I'll she for one she can't counter because oh, she's a dragon. Uh, and I have close foil, uh, but for two, Sirius is actually, uh, Sothis is actually very strong, so if she does manage to hit her, she's probably just going to die. Uh, so now on my end, I have my plan set up, uh, if this doesn't work, then it doesn't work, and you know, whatever happens, happens. Um, 
Let's go back here. So now that I have my whatever I'm planning to do set up, the question is, who do I go in with? I think I go in with Makaya, a Makaya. So either it's going to be green Makaya or colorless Makaya. So I have green Makaya here and colorless Makaya here. So colorless Makaya is here for her duo skill. Which means that, yeah, plus the, the tank and cav effectiveness. So Colorless Makaya can kill these two. I think I just have to be Colorless because as much... See, I reduce... Like, I don't have to worry too much about reducing their attack. Because Green Makaya, you bring her in for the same reasons as regular Colorless Makaya. It's just that um, you bring her in to debuff. Um, she drops everybody by 6 attack and speed. Her speed isn't really too bad. I can still double her. Dropping her speed isn't too bad. She won't, she'll only hit me once. I don't really care. She's just gonna die. Uh, and it's it. And it leaves just these two. Um, which is fine, I think. Um, because I think Makai can just kill him. If not, I think Seiri can do a decent job of it. Um, my series not built, obviously, I don't, I don't... Unit initiates combat, okay, that's very interesting. Um, I just kind of put her here because she's a bonus unit, and I had her, pulled her from the last one. Um, I think I'm just going to go with this. Spring is here. What is he, plus one? Plus one, that's very interesting. Um, so yeah, let's put you here, have you hit this. You're gonna hit. You're gonna stand here and hit this, and then she's gonna stand here and dance her, and she's gonna move there and go there. Okay. Okay. So the only problem I have is her not attacking. So does she have drawback and swap? So I think most of these should attack. Though I think she's gonna hit me. She's gonna dance her, and she's gonna hit me, which is fine. I just need to make sure she doesn't dance like one of these two, because I think one of these two. These two will do some real damage if they come in and try to attack me, um, especially because they have the uh, armor boots or whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. You know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, what's this here? What are you, 50? That's some serious res. <laughs> 65 attack. Uh, I, I use her as like a res tank, I just kind of leave her there and, and suck up res units. Uh, she, the fact that she's colorless means she can just literally tank any um, color. Uh, let's put you here. Okay. So, I think that should be fine. V3, 7, and 3. Springtime. 48, so I just one shot her, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna get these two to start uh, trying to get this pot over here. Uh, I'm probably assuredly gonna get this pot. Okay, so she danced her. Oh, there we go. So, let's see. I Iceberg. She hit for way more than 37. Well, that's pretty annoying. Uh, so that was the that was the thing. Um, I needed to make sure you attacked first, but uh, I mean that was my fault entirely. Uh, I lost two units as I usually do. I think I might just uh, escape ladder this one. Yeah, that was not the best place to be for like trying to bait her. Um, yeah, let's see. I can't even kill her. 54, 40. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, air speed is atrocious. Like, it is actually just the worst. Plus six from something. I didn't realize what that one is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna, like. That was that one. So that was a poor, uh. A poor choice of actions there. Yeah, don't send. Okay, so I got zero uses left. Let's drop the 
think I'm gonna pause this and and, and see about this in a second. Okay, so I replaced the ladder with the bright shine, uh, just to give her more survivability uh, when I'm in there. Um, upgraded my bolt tower a little bit. Uh, let's see, build improve. I have 1,200 materials. I have a lot of materials. I mean, this stuff. There's there's nothing to use that do stuff on, which is kind of dumb. Um, but yeah. I have 1,200 materials, uh, I burned a couple, I think I had like 2,000, so I burned like 800. Um, there's not a whole lot I need to upgrade right now, so I mean, I, I wasn't, I didn't mind it too much. Uh, so yeah, let's just try to go in here again and, uh, and do it. Okay, so 24. Um, this team doesn't look too bad, I think. What I'm gonna do is pop this here and then just hit her. Uh, she might not die. So I'll hit her. Um, she'll come in. She's got desperation, which is fine because it's not. She's not gonna be in the range anyway. Uh, let's see. Iago is the only one that might give me problems. Uh, let's see, HP, what do I need? I don't really need her. Should I just run with, uh, do they have any visible buffs? She gives people visible buffs. That doesn't, obviously. She has this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna bring, um, Aversa to this one. Where is she? There she is, okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave her here because she can fight these two probably, hopefully, with any luck. Uh, let's do this here and here. Okay, so I think move this here to pop that, move her down here, push her here, forward two, and then hit her. That sounds like, yeah, that sounds like what I'm gonna do. Uh, right now it's pretty chill. Um, people's Iagos aren't maxed. Uh, but once he does get maxed, I think he's going to be a real irritant. Um, the fact that this alternates from turn to turn, I think uh, it's a bigger deal than people might really understand. Um, sure, it doesn't give you all the same. Like She's just a wide three plus the panic. Um, but the fact that you can just dodge it by having people not touch each other uh, is what makes it like not as big a deal um, but the fact that you have to like have them not touch each other and then have them touch each other a turn and, and, and go back and forth between that is, is it just adds more like margin for error for your opponent when they're playing against him um, I think problematically he's also missing uh, another uh, mythic or uh, uh, what is this dark defense unit um, to get his HP higher, basically just want the HP as high as possible. But yeah. Uh, so let's see, so yeah, let's just do this. Um, let's swap spaces, let's go back here and put you there. Uh, I'm gonna pop this here. Let's boost you up. And she one shots Veronica, okay. Okay, so they all got minus seven defense, three on everything. They're gonna get six from this on her turn, which is gonna drop them down for another six. So 42 attack, uh, which is good. It's good for me. Um, Maybe this way. The only other thing I'm worried about is this down here. Uh, she's got this. And, and this. The speed is a waste of my time. The res is also too high. Yeah, I really have to be careful down there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we get there, so let's Good morning. move these a little further this way. Okay, so Azura attacked, which means the other two are probably gonna die, because usually 
So the, the only time you'll bait dancers is when like the other units die. Because if one of, if one of them two, Iago or her, would have like hit me and survived, they would have done it. And then uh, Azura dances. Uh, that was the problem with the other one. Was um, the last one was because uh, Yuen was just gonna die. It went with the uh, the unit that wouldn't have died first, and ultimately it was the unit that could kill me, um, which is fine. Okay, now here comes the trickier part, I think. Um, doo -doo -doo. So, well, it's not, I mean, it's not that bad, it's just that, uh... She tends to do a bit of damage. So she needs to be, so this is not active right now, so I really think I should just kill her, but... I think I'm gonna miss out on these... If I don't, if I don't do this now. Put you here, dance you, and hit the other one. I think this should be it. Uh, the only problem is I might not be able to kill her. Okay, so I did. So there you go. Again, uh, it's always important to realize that uh, I like I even used up all my escape ladders. But at this point, since again I missed an attack, I'm, I'm on a lower sort of competitive bracket. Um, you end up fighting easier people. Uh, so like the fact that like getting these victories isn't really like. A huge deal. So this will get me one more attack. Uh, if I get the Aether, boost me up to 70. I had to. I don't remember having missed two rounds of Aether, so it was just impossible to get a third uh, double attack in. So that's fine. Uh, but basically, what this means is I don't have to worry about getting the Aether this, these next uh, these next two times. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of tanks here. So basically, I'm just gonna br bring Micaiah because this is uh, this is kind of dumb. Um. I think, despite how many stats and whatnot is being thrown around here, I think Makai could just one-shot every single one of these. Um, the question... Back. I guess my question is, do I bring green Makai? She has 52 attack, plus everybody's probably going to be hit by this. Um, which gives her... Uh, minus, which gives them minus six, but because she has this, it gives her an attack boost of that six that they lose. She's basically at 58. 58 plus the... Uh, oh, I forgot I had ground orders on her. That's uh, whatever. Um, 58 plus the uh, res bond, which I can't guarantee she'll be next to someone. So I think I might just have to go with uh, our regular Micaiah here. She's got 60. She's got a base 60 already. Plus the 7 from here, 67. Plus if she has a boost that's already 70 something. Strange, isn't it? A little. And the 5 from here. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with this because this is ridiculous. Um. Yeah, this is this is the main reason you don't want to be running a team like this, just because there's too many Micaiahs and there's too many just armor effective weapons to not. Um, so here's what you do: is I'm gonna put her here. Okay, yeah. So basically, I'm just gonna do this one at a time. So put you here, because she should be able to just one shot every single one of these. Forty-two res. Oh, that one's actually. Got a high res. This one, this one. She's got pretty high res. Yeah, we'll see how this goes, actually. It doesn't seem so secure anymore. Uh, they all got the defense thing. Uh, that one's just chilling. Those are just chilling over here. Uh, let's see. So he's going to get the counter thing no matter what. I think I'm going to just have to together. go kill him first. Wait, right back, back. Let's not do that. Swap spaces. 
I think I'm just gonna kill him first. Uh, just because, I mean, it doesn't really matter who I kill first anyway. Um, so if I put her shoes down here, go here, and then hit him, he's he can't really do anything. So hopefully he just moves up so I can kill him easier. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we'll see how this goes, I guess. Certainly. Maybe this way. Oh, I'm nervous here. Okay, 66. I'm right here. Uh, there's really no need to, to trigger that. So I'm just gonna move these here. Move you over here. Okay, so he didn't move up. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so she only does 37. She's missing attack, something. She got chilled by something. Uh, this here is bothering me. Here. 37. Okay. Death's caress. Was this Duma running? Defense res solo. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to kill him with this. Be safe. Uh, I'm being kind of wasteful with my turns here. Good morning. Huh. Of course. The glimmer of life. I mean, obviously she can't kill her. Death's caress. Uh, let's find out if this is real or not. Okay, so this one, it's this one here. Okay, so I, if it's this one here, it's probably going to be that one there. Um, not like, not that I didn't already assume that personally. Uh, let's see. Let's see what you can do there. 12, so she does no damage there. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, okay, cool. I was thinking that was there, but I think um, you don't want that there, because in that case, uh, it's just too much damage to your own... You're causing your own um, team too much uh, damage there. Uh, so she has the movement thing, and she's going to cause him to move, and she doesn't have a movement thing, so she's just kind of slow here. Yes. Um, I'm kind of, the reason I'm, I'm debating that is I want to move this here and just pop this, because this is already irritating me. Uh, 65, yes, yeah, so this is already annoying me. Um, but if I do that, so I mean, I'm going to have to dance her to move her out of the way anyway, like put her down here somewhere. I put her here, and then put her there. If I put, if I jump here and hit this, she can go one, two, here. So she can hit here and here. Uh, and he can move, like, right here. So she, if she stands here, she can hit here and here. Right? And that's not that big a deal. I think I'm just gonna do that. Let's dance you out of the way. Certainly. Hit this. One, two. So yeah. Of course. Maid. Um, these two don't really have a reason to be anywhere but here. Okay. Cool. Uh. Let's go together. The can you kill her? No. Okay. So I'll just hit her. Be safe. Sixty-five. So see, it's that's the problem. It's like no matter how tanky you end up making these, they just get uh, weapon affected. Um, okay, so now she can only move one, and he can only move one. So if I dance her here, I can kill you. I'm right here. 71. Yeah, you don't see a lot of, especially, see, this, this is another thing, um, last, uh, they're in the last one. Yes. Um, I don't remember finding any tank setups, but, like, tank setups are, are decently common here in, like, the lower levels. 
So he only has he had two movement, but he only has one movement now. So he's just gonna stand here and do nothing, and then I should be able to hit him next turn. Hmm. This isn't very useful. I'm just gonna put you there. Um. So if you were super paranoid, which I'm kind of debating whether or not I should be, uh, you would move her here and then have her flip her into the trap here. Um. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna one shot the uh the, the Burger King over there. Um. I think I think it should be fine. Um, but again, as always, these are famous last words. We'll see. <laughs> it just has like a lingering armor movement effect here somewhere I wasn't counting on. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it turned out fine. Um, 78. Uh, I think that's it. I'm just going to take these pots just for the sake of it. Let's take this pot here. Just to show them that I could. 83. I got more. To, oh, I guess it was for the uh, for that. Be safe. Okay, that's not fine. But like I was saying, um, you don't find a lot of tank comps when you're like in the proper bracket. But like again, it's just kind of reiterating the same thing. But um, yeah, that that has to do with uh, how. Far I went down, which is kind of weird. What's going on here? Six something. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have. If I get 165, 165 gets me to 220. Like, uh, what? 165? 220? 8? Which can't get me out of here. So if I had attacked and at least not uh, biffed it, well, that's, that's what you can say, right? If I had attacked and not uh, messed up, and I did decently well, I would have been in tier 27. But like I mentioned earlier, it's sort of a cascade effect. Um, the, if I had properly attacked, I'd be in a higher bracket and who knows whether my subsequent week uh, would have went as well as it did this time. This time I went, obviously it went really well. I got up to at least 26, missing a whole day, a whole day's attack. Um, but who knows if I was in that higher bracket, I would have had uh, tougher matches and maybe they, they wouldn't have gone so well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's always um, an interesting point to make. Um, so let's see. Oh, this is see, this is a real defense here. This is annoying. Um, I think the answer to this maybe is just like, ugh, this is like, this is what cancer looks like. like I'm just gonna run Reinhardt uh, super maxed because. Uh, I'd rather not think of strategy. Oh my gosh, this is like this is the kind of defense someone makes when they don't really want to think about anything. They just like put all their broken units in a ball, and we're like, ah, whatever. We'll, we'll do it. We'll see where that goes. Um, twenty defense. This is interesting. I mean, it's interesting to kind of solve, but for the most part, it's just annoying. Uh, let's see. That, uh, that uh, what's his name? Leaf there is what's stopping me here, because otherwise it would just be a simple task of like putting Makaya like over here somewhere, and then just having her pick these two off and just kill them. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not like uh, it's not that simple. I think. <laughs> Okay, here's here's what I do. I think I put I, I put her I put uh, Loki here. Kill this one. Dancer and then move her here and kill this one. Uh, the question is, how do I um, go about? I need to clear out these two here. <laughs> This is annoying. <laughs> this uh, Camilla doesn't isn't doing me any favors either. Uh, her speed is 44, 47, 47 speed. They don't have any visible buffs, which is is good on their part. They, they really don't want anything like that. Though it does. 
I guess it's yeah, it does beg the question of why Azura's here. Um, but it's probably just for the extra movement on Tersir, because um, Tersir's a, um, I'd say Tersir is a decent threat. Uh, so the problem is, um, let's see, yeah, I really need to end here and kill him, because then he'll come here and hit, uh, Loki, right? And then she'll probably dance him if he doesn't die, but she'll move here and then she'll get danced and then hit her, which... Again, she's not the like the biggest threat here, but the fact that she can just hit me and not re get retaliated is is as annoying as anything. Uh, Ares, I don't really know why Ares is here. Um, I guess we'll find out after I go in there and get uh, straight up jobbed. Uh, but I'm already in tier 26, so this is kind of a formality. Um, tier 26 at 220, uh, was it 224? I was like 80 points away from tier 27. <laughs> that's so that's so annoying. Uh, but yeah, so there's a lesson in like. Making sure to um, uh, do what you gotta do. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is bring Colorless Micaiah and leave her here to debuff all of them. Oh no, I can't leave her there. Um, so I was just gonna leave her here and debuff all of them, but I forgot that she has to like... Uh, what's her name? Boki has to be within that like debuff range to get the dominance effect so otherwise it's useless so like unless I'm going let's see you have that no so nobody has a uh, hardy bearing which is going to be one of your bigger flaws in the team like this so okay that, that, that makes it kind of interesting now um part of me wants to like have someone here hit this bulky here dance have someone hit this, move her here and kill him. Uh, put like Kalis Micaiah here and um, duo skill. Uh, then basically just uh, CC Vantage everybody. Because I think I can just Vantage her. Does she have? Yeah. So they can't. <laughs> so I can vantage before uh, any of these. The, the problem is, it's like, will I kill them all? Is the question, especially if you're running something like um, a bulky. Reinhardt's fallen off as a pain in the ass, but he's. I mean, he'll never be irrelevant. Like he'll never be like. Oh, I don't. You know. Reinhardt's just like a empty space. I mean, he's here for a reason. Uh, people plus ten him for a reason. Uh, he's always a good investment, but he's not nearly as uh, as bad as he used to be anymore. I, I don't think anyway. Um, this leaf, though, I think yeah. I think if I put Loki here, she fights him. She might not kill him, but on the following turn, he'll try to kill her and probably just die. Oh, well, actually, she'll probably just kill him the first time because I'll have the um, the dominance effect from this. Uh, yeah, she might just one-shot him, which the, the other problem is um, I need to get her in vantage range because she can come in and double her before she can counterattack because she'll have the debuffs, penalties, this stuff, and then... And she'll just double her before I can like vantage and like get capitalize on the dominance effect and all that. Uh, so you don't you really don't want to get initiated on by her. Now the only the other problem here is let's say so th this is this this is a risky plan because again this the other plan I had before is kind of risky because so I put her here hit her put her here and then move her here and then hit him. Uh, the biggest problem with that is going to be leaf is gonna go ahead and attack me um, if leaf doesn't die if, if uh, Boki can't kill leaf oh, if she's right here so he's gonna move here and here heal his thing will activate yeah I don't know really. um, 
his uh, little uh, zeal thing will activate and he'll get another turn um, which might put some units vulnerable somewhere but the problem is it's like yeah I don't know uh, they act kind of sporadically when they have multiple turns like Gale Force like people have Gale Force on their defense team uh, they just act kind of weird I mean it's not like unpredictable but it's, it's like more steps of abstract movement that I really care to like think about where they're going um, but yeah that's just me I'm just lazy like that so if I'm, I was thinking about running Colorless Micaiah for the Dominance effect, but I think I might, I think I'm just not going to worry about it because um, I can't hit them anyway. Like I have to be right here somewhere to be using that, and I don't think that's a good place to be doing that. Um, so I think, let's see, so yeah, these, these are pretty irritating. Dire Thunder is ne never a, a fun time. I think I might just have to go with Green Micaiah to reduce all their stats. Um, yeah. Let's go. Where's Green Micaiah? Yeah, because they don't have any visible buffs, so... She's not going to be very useful. Um, Versus is not going to be very useful. Okay, so we have this here. Okay, let's just go in there with that. So I'm kind of I'm going with this. I think my plan is I'm gonna go with the plan I had before, where I'm gonna get her here to kill Thrasir. Uh, somehow get the dancer here and move her to kill uh, Reinhardt. Uh, as you can see, the fact that I, I mentioned somehow, it's like this isn't exactly gonna be easy. Um. That's not even mentioning like the, my phobia of like um, my phobia of, of just moving of units that move like so I'm gonna hit this right I think it might be just like popping structures that causes them to move sometimes but like I mentioned before I mean you would just move for no reason sometimes at least to my knowledge it looks like there's no real reason for them to be moving but. Okay, so I popped those structures. Okay, they didn't move. Yeah, sometimes they move, so. Of course. <sighs> the glimmer of life. Fun bunny. I think I'm gonna pop this structure here. I'm gonna dance her. Well, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. Maybe Put this here. I wanna see if I can kill her. So she'll die. That's good. Um, the question now, so what I have to do now is I'm going to move her out of the way. Like I'm not, obviously I'm not popping this for the Aether, I'm popping it because, um, she's in the right position. So she can stand here, hit her, and then she can stand there and hit him. Um, this is, this is, this is bad on my part here. What I needed to do was the glimmer of life. I'm gonna put you here. Springtime. <laughs> She's getting in the way, so I'm gonna move you out of the of way here. You really should be planning stuff like this out before you start wasting turns. Um but, uh, you know, of course I'm not very good at not wasting turns. So my thing did damage to them. Of course. The glimmer of life. Hmm. Death's caress. Okay, so I have four turns left. Let's, uh, let's take this slow. I've already got like a 30 minute video, 40 minute video, so of course I'm taking things slow. Um, 
I need to... <sighs> she needs to be here. Loki needs to be here. Okay, here I think I have a I think I have an idea. So I'm gonna pop this with Loki, move air here to flip her this way. Dance air, because she'll be right here. I'm gonna move this. Dance air because she'll be right here. Wait, hold on. Let me put this here. Put air here, flip Loki. So Loki's here, air is here. Use her to dance air and move her down here. So we're all out of harm's way. So then the next turn will come and I'll move air here and then flip her this way and she'll be able to stand here, hit her, and then I can move her forward and then dance her and then she'll move here. I think that's the plan. So, But I think, now that I'm thinking about it, I think what causes them to move, even though we're not in like um, red range here, might be um, hitting the aether. Um, so if they move, it'll be, it'll be a good experiment, especially because, like I said, I'm not hitting... Um, Tier 27 this week anyway. Okay, so they didn't move. I still don't know what uh, what causes them to do that. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna do here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> that sucks. Um, I guess air. I'm just gonna have to sacrifice air, uh, which is actually a lot worse. Ah, damn. Time. Ugh, I'm running out of turns. So that, yeah. So I forgot that, um... You don't want... You didn't want air there, because, um... Uh, Meister Bogan over here is in a... I don't really... I keep forgetting his name, but his weapon... I remember his weapon. Um... Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go with that. Uh, I'm down to three turns, turn five. So this is this is bad. Um, I've, I've taken way too many turns to get this done. Uh, 33, so one shot. Uh, let's put you here. 37, so one shot again. Uh, okay, okay. So if he moves here and hits her, his thing will charge, and if he doesn't die, what do you have, set minus seven here? Okay. So if he doesn't die, he's got minus six here and seven. Oh, see, he is getting a buff from something. Oh, man. Talk about a, a mistake. Um, oh, man, that'd be amazing. He'd have, like, a minus 13 attack. 13 would have been, like, what, 36 or some shit? That's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know where he's getting that from. I, I guess I'm just stupid. Uh, for, I, yeah, oh, well. Uh, so if he hits here, he can hit her. and she, If he doesn't die... Which I think he should. He can go one, two, and then three here, and then hit here. So I'm just kind of checking whether I should move these. I mean, you should always be moving them, but... Um, so, okay, and, um, see, fortunately I, I didn't take any damage so that I wouldn't get hit by this tower, because I've got a bunch of buffs on me right now. Um, Let's see, I'm just gonna, I don't know what to do with you. She doesn't have, she has, she has a lot of res, but not a very good defense, which just kind of sucks. Um, let's just do that. We'll see what happens now. Okay, here goes. So, 42. I should double him, and he'll die. So, I get the full charged attack, and I get the cool. There. So, basically, uh, there shouldn't be any problems. So, the only, I mean, I guess the only problem now is, um, uh, uh, maybe not reaching all of them. <laughs> so let's hit you here. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this here. I'm gonna dance you. And I'm gonna kill this one. You wanna kill this one because I only have one turn left, right? So, um, this way, Azura is just gonna kill herself. There you go. So, that was a lot of. That's kind of what it takes, you know, a lot of planning. Um, just don't do anything stupid. To spring. The glimmer of life. Hmm. 
And the vantage for the 81. Don't send. Uh, so yeah. No, I missed it by 172. I thought it was like 40 or something. I don't remember. Close. So if I had got the two pots, which I could have, um, I would have had 30 right now, right? Yeah, and if I had done the one match that I needed to do, I would have had the, um, the at least the 10th, the 20 from there. So it might have been 20 plus there's a 50. It would have had one. It might have had one more. <laughs> Who knows, right? Um, but yeah, so. Miss, I'm missing it by 170 something, I think it was what it said. That's the wrong thing. Uh, which is about uh, one. Um, which is about one. Um, just 100, 100 point uh, Aether uh, match. Uh, man. That's just so sad. Uh, check rewards, tier, defense. And my defense is pretty high. That's pretty cool. Uh, I could always use more red flowers. So, I'm for so fortunately, it happened during a, a time where. Um, the flowers were good there uh, but yeah that's it for Aether Raids uh, this week, uh, tier 26 unfortunately uh, no one to blame but myself on that one um, like I was saying last time during some of my summon videos um, the new legendary banner is coming I think sometime this week and it's got uh, Mirabilis and um, uh, Mirabilis and Sothis which I could, I could use more Sothis merges um, yeah, more so than merges would always be good. I'm thinking about running Kestrel Stance on her. Um, I'm not sure though. Uh, I, I have that Sayri there. I mean, I guess I won't be able to use her. Yeah, next week I still need her. So at some point, uh, foddering off, uh, Sayri for the Kestrel Stance, but I'm a little hesitant just because the, the Repel, or she has Repel or Close Call or one of them. I forgot what it was. Um, is actually pretty valuable um, in terms of like, and she can, she can inherit that obviously. Uh, there's no there's no units. <laughs> I, I might just have to hold on to foddering off Sayri for like a long time until maybe a unit comes out that has Kestrel Stance one, two, and three, and then give somebody the Kestrel Stance four plus the the Repel or whatever she has on uh, her B slot. <laughs> Um, so that might be that. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, just more uh, Sothis merges, not only for, for this, but also for, um, what's the other game mode? Uh, Mjolnir Strike. Just having more merges and, and having more uh, opportunities to get feathers is good. Um, as well as, I don't have her on my team yet. This is what, this was what my um, team is going to look like once, this one's not locked in, so this is whatever. I just put this here as I like, this is what it's going to look like eventually. Right now, this is what it is now, and going into next season, it'll be this. Um, but, eventually I'm going to have it look like this. Uh, what's stopping me is I want one more merge, because once I once I make this, I want to lock it in and just he leave it like there for a while. But, you know, I have one more merge on this, so I might as well get to the plus 10 on that and get that done and finished. Um, fix a few things here. She's basically done as well. Um... I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get any more merges on Duma. Uh, this right here, I need to give him something. Probably have to, I'm going to think about it. Probably give him something like... Uh, maybe make a, some sort of rally trap thing. I don't know how rally traps work, so I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, something like that, I don't know. Something more interesting than just not having anything at all. Um, but yeah, so having him here. Uh, she's going to give him ground orders. Which basically fixes his movement problem, at least for one turn. Uh, whether the variants will give me a hand long enough. Why is this here? I don't know why this is here, because they're just going to come up here and hit it. i got to put this somewhere else. But anyway. Um, it'll, it'll help him for at least turn one, because this way... If they stand here, she'll hit him. She'll fly here or here and then hit him. And then he'll come over here and hit him. So I don't think the, the Urban Ike is probably the only thing that can survive like all of this in this position here. But it's still good because if they stand here, she'll hit him, and then 
she'll hit him, and then like he'll hit him, and or this might be switched or something. But yeah, ground orders is just great on Duma. Uh, it just catches people out. Um, it, it basically just makes this into a kill box. As much as this gives you defense, it's going to be hard to like not die here. Um, she had that because she was doing the um, the friendship thing. Uh, the other thing, let's see. The, the, one of the bigger problems is like, if you guys if you guys get the chance to fight me on uh, Aether Raids season sometime, know that y you want to bait her like over here somewhere and like put a unit here or, or can you put units here? Yeah, you can put like an infantry here or like a unit here. You want to be on the outside of her uh, box, so like right here or basically just anywhere here. Because like if you're standing here, she has to move here to hit you. Um, suddenly. Her flyer formation is useless. The guidance is useless here. Um, her like all this stuff. Like you just want to you just want to bait out this one further. Now uh, the way to fix that is probably like on my end to fix that would probably just be like replace this with somebody. Uh, maybe uh, what's that guy's name? The dude with the red sword. I forgot what his name was. The, the red sword. The new the new um, grand hero battle unit. We, I think I think it's GHB unit we got that has a. Um, IO shield built into his weapon because it reduces his, his range. Let's let's pretend like this here or um, Minerva, right? A plus ten Minerva sitting right here would be pretty cool because that way they can't be baited. So like if you stand here and here, she can't hit you, so she's not gonna move that way. <laughs> um, so you're forced to stand here to bait her, right? You're forced to stand here, 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 uh, here or here. So if you stand here, she has to move here to hit you. Right, which is why I have that trap there. It has to move here to hit you, and again, it makes this like the the guidance here is useless. The guidance here, or the flyer formation here is useless. So you still want to stand here, but you reduce the options. So like, if they stand here, she's gonna stand here, and hopefully the dancer will will help one of them get closer so they can flyer formation and get here. But basically, what that means, what I like I said, you want to just kind of bait out uh, their range. Um, the way to solve this is by having things like, you know, for one, not flying, not using a flyer ball, but for two, like, cavalry is good for covering this. It's, you have like a, a good uh, anchor right here. This is the kind of position. This this position is right here. It's your anchor. That's why I have her. Um, she has close counter normally, not not close defense, um, close counter and all that stuff. Because she she's decently tanky and um, she doesn't have any weaknesses except for like color. I mean, now she does there. Um, but she's just here to be my anchor, um, cause she's good tank. She's a good tank defensively and 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 res wise, um, and she doesn't have IO shield, which is why she's over here on the side. <laughs> um, but a good anchor would probably be something like uh, what's her name? Ah, I forgot her name was already. The other one, uh, uh, Mini Minerva. Uh, she's got high res. She's got high defense. She's got low res. Uh, which obviously sucks, but at least like you get a plus five res from this. Um, but yeah, you just want a good anchor in this position here, so that when they come in to try to hit right here, they they're met with resistance, and then everybody just kind of piles in on them. Um, like I said, the way to fix the um, the range issue of like oh just just sit like right here, she's forced to move here and there, is. Um, Running like uh, three movement units with range, so a lot of cav units. So that's why you run Reinhardt, right? So you have your anchor somewhere. Uh, they bait the anchor out, but Reinhardt has enough movement and range to just kind of run over here and hit that person too. That's why you run like a, a Reinhardt, like Reinhardt Meister, uh, Meisterbogen, Reinhardt, what's the name? Reinhardt Leaf combo is very good because you're hitting from both cent both res and defense, and you're covering a spot, and your anchor is covered by both. Um, so that's kind of the problem there. Uh, yeah, so th this team kind of falls apart when you when you kill her, because then like everybody else starts getting out of position. He'll like move over here like an idiot, and then these people start like flying down here, and they start just kind of like swarming around. Um, ideally, you'd want like your um, your dancer right here somewhere, but I don't have a ground. The only person I have on my box that has ground orders is Mikaya, and I didn't feel like foddering her off or like waiting to get a fodder to give it to her. Eventually, I might give it to her if I get it from somewhere. I think uh, it might be in the code somewhere. I don't know who knows. Uh, eventually, if I get ground orders, I'll probably give it to her, put her here, and this is a better place for her to be because uh, she can reach more people with her dancing. 
But until then, uh, she's just sitting here. Um, I suggest, yeah, so this is fine. Uh, sabotage defense is pretty good and helps with that. Um, but yeah, this this is this this team is pretty good, I think. Like I said, the main weaknesses are like having people over here somewhere. But hopefully, she can do enough damage to them. Like Irvin Ike just sits like right here. She hits them, she dies, and then everybody, and then basically the whole team just falls apart after that. Um, but yeah, there really isn't a whole lot of counter to Irvin Ike anyway. Um, but yeah, so yeah, anyway, this is already getting into my whatever. But yeah, like I said, it, it's nice that we're getting the uh, the new legendary banner. I'm probably gonna pull a bunch on that. Uh, try to get more uh, Mirabilis copies, even though like having merging uh, a non like like her merges on her are very valuable because she can use every single stat you get out of a merge. But since she's here to dance, her stats aren't that important. She just kind of basically you know you don't want to die is what you want with her. Um, but more merges would be pretty good just because of this right here. So, you know, maybe get like, if I get like a, a res boon, she goes up to like 48 res, or I don't know if she has a super boon or not, I'm not entirely sure, so 40, 47, 48, something like that. Um, that's a pretty good res stat for like just debuffing everybody, so that's really the main reason I want her. I want at least one, hopefully I don't get like too many. Um, going back to here, Sothis can use merges because she is very much like um, like Loki in that sense where it's like she can use all these stats so basically just to keep her from dying. Uh, the one merge I'm looking for is a plus speed. I think speed's a super boon on her. Um, but I, yeah, all I got was like a plus HP last time and like I think both of yeah I don't remember what my boot my bane my bane's were. Um, but yeah, so maybe. Like a res boon would be pretty good too, just to patch up this res because it is kind of abysmal. 27 is, is a little sketchy. Uh, 30 and 30 is pretty good, um, but speed is probably what you want most just because it uh, keeps her from getting doubled and it gives her the doubles and uh, it uh, gives you more damage for this. Not not a whole lot, right? Like if you get uh, 3 speed, which is a speed boon, um, you get a third of that in damage. You're basically just getting one more damage out of your Sirius, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not the worst thing, uh, especially like if you're getting 3 speed plus the 6 speed from this, that's 9, you're getting 3 more damage out of that, plus you're avoiding doubles and you're doubling. Um, yeah. I really wish she could run uh, uh, Repel, but she can't, so uh, Vantage is what I'm running on her. But yeah, so fortunately, I think the problem, I'm wa I've been waiting for like ever to get, I really do need... Um, what is it, Broadleaf fan uh, Lelina to come back? And she hasn't come back. She might still come back eventually, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's, that's that.